Radford University, like many campuses, struggles with parking. Construction, congestion, and growth all contribute to the issue. The most popular lot on campus, near the Kobe building, is often full by 10 a.m. Students unable to find spots here must search the smaller lots or park across the bridge. This concerned Radford student drives to campus every day, but doesn't always get lucky finding a spot. Basically, when I try to park at Radford, a lot of times I can't find the spot. Uh, sometimes I'm late for class looking for spots. Sometimes I have to park on the street, you know. I missed a lot of class trying to park. James Perkins, manager of Auxiliary Services, says Radford has done what they can to manage parking on campus while the additions are underway. With the student population now topping 9,000, increases in staff size, and two major development projects, accessibility to campus has become increasingly difficult. I parked, I guess, two years ago here, and um, I didn't know it was faculty parking, so I got ticket after ticket because I didn't come down often to see my car. So I would have to pay ticket after ticket. And I think this whole parking lot should be for students as well because Deadman's parking lot gets filled really fast. The expansion of the science building significantly shortens what was the largest lot next to campus, lot C. This means commuter students have much less room to park by Muse and on that side of Main Street. To curb the issue, Radford has expanded its bus service and the new Burlington lot is available to staff for a lower price, provided they take the bus to campus or walk. While the university says the parking situation is still manageable on a loss of only 70 spots, many students each morning are still stressing over finding a place to park. Steve Russell, NRV News.